Brushaflies, welcome back to my channel Brushafly MUA. If you're new here, hi, my name is Mercedes and I'm the face behind Brushafly MUA. And if you are new, please remember to hit that subscribe button because at 100 subscribers I will be doing a giveaway. And if you're not new, hi, welcome back. And as you can tell, it must be Halloween. Um, so it's actually Halloween day I'm filming this. This video will probably go up the day after Halloween. By the time I've filmed it, edited it, and taken my kids out trick or treating and whatnot, I'm looking over there because my laptop did sound really weird. Um, so yeah, I'm all dressed up in like a vampirish outfit, but my face does not look very vampire. Um, you have to excuse the hair. I wore this to work last night, and I left it in because I thought, well, it's out of the way. I can fix that after I've decided to paint my face. Um, so I did actually do a sort of halloween -y look for work last night. I normally work Halloween, but it's not fallen on my shift this year. So I just did something subtle um, for Halloween. You know, just to get people in the spirit. A few people liked it. Not many people commented. I was like, thanks. Um, but you know, it did get me in the mood for Halloween. So yeah. I feel like doing something else today. So I am taking the kids trick or treating tonight. Um, they've got their little outfits. We've got one of their little friends coming with us. So I thought I might as well make a bit of an effort. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. So last year I did, you know, the trend that goes around where you have the spider over your eye with the legs. I really like that. So I'm kind of gonna do that again this year. I know maybe it doesn't technically go with a vampire, but I thought, you know what, I really enjoyed that last year and I don't have the, you know, the most amount of time to do this. So I thought if I do it now, get myself done and I can get the kids done, then it's all good. So yeah, I'm going to hop straight into this and we'll see how it goes. So I have just zoomed myself in. I have not zoomed the camera in because I'm finding that quite difficult at the moment because of the way my camera is set up. It's quite difficult to um, zoom in, although my knee keeps bashing on the side, so it's making the camera wobble. But as you can tell, I've already done my base makeup. So I've done serum, moisturizer, foundation, concealer, primer, all of that nonsense. So I now need to prime my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. This for me, as I've said in many videos, it's too heavy a concealer for my liking so I like to just use it as a eye primer I do have eye primers in my collection um, but I just thought I could use this up so it doesn't go to waste and actually it's a really good concealer for an eye base because it's still quite tacky really grabs any pigment you put on your eye really difficult with long nails on. <laughs> I keep scratching my eyelid. And my nails, I know they're not very Halloween-y. Um, they are very mishmash. Um, but my kids had some false nails bought for them. For Halloween, one set of pink and one set of blue. So I decided to pinch some off of them and some randoms that I had left over. So mine are just multicoloured mash-up. So I have primed my eyes. What I'm thinking of doing is doing like a black body on my eyelid and then trying to do the little spider's legsies. So I think the best palette to play with at the moment is my Tatty Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 palette. This one is a fantastic palette for playing around with and doing some really creative eye looks. As you can see, I have proper dug into this palette. But I think this palette is definitely good for Halloween and autumn. I think it's just a very playful palette, whether Tatty intended that to be the way. Um, so I think for the spider's body, I'm gonna go in with the memory column, which is the black column. I might go in with the sequin one just because it doesn't look as harsh, but it's still very pigmented. So I actually really love this palette. It's a really good little palette or big palette. Okay. And 
it's very pigmented. I really should do a video reviewing this on my channel because I haven't as of yet. And the good thing with Halloween makeup is if it gets a little bit messy, it's okay because it's Halloween. And then I'm going to take a bit of Aura, the sequiny shade. God, that black is so pigmented. I literally just blew it off my palette and it literally just went up my hand and has settled in my hand creases. Oops. Okay, so it might take a bit of aura again. So let's go in with the metallic. I'm hoping it will um, improve. So I'm going to take a bit of Poet Metallic again, which is the red one. I normally use my finger with like the glitter shades in this palette. But my nails are so long. I might try with a brush. Just spooning it and try and tidy it up a little bit. That is very glittery and sparkly. I now need to do some spider's legs. So I'm gonna grab my House Laboratories trusty eyeliner and hope that it does what I want it to do. I think last year I used eyeshadow, but I think this year I want it to be quite vibrant. So I'm probably not gonna talk for a few minutes because I gotta concentrate. If you can hear my kids giggling, they are really, really excited. This is so <laughs> difficult, especially because I have long nails. Really difficult. And I keep holding my breath. It's not as um, delicate as some people do it. Some people do it absolutely amazing. But, um...
the nose bit's okay. Okay. Oh, that is some of it done. I'm just going to find my white eyeliner. Okay, so I have here a white eyeliner from Revolution We Love. I'm just going to add some detail to the legs. Try. Okay, so that is some detail on the legs. I kind of want to do a bit of shadow, you know, like shadow from the legs. I'm going to try and hope that it works. But I might not go in with black, I might go in with Ritual, which is a chocolatey brown. I might just go in with Sue, which is slightly lighter. I don't think the shadowing on the bottom part went as good as the top. I'm going to go back in with Poet, which was the red shade. Okay, 
Okay, so I think that looks kind of cool. I need to do some eyeshadow on the other eye just so I don't look so out of place. So I might just go in with a bit of Soothe. Then I might just go back in with some Soothe, but the metallic one, which I actually just did on my eye, but I didn't tell you. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go back in with Soothe again, but under the lash line. And then in with Aura, with the metallic one, the inner corner highlight. I'm gonna need some mascara. So today I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I'm using this mascara for everything at the minute. I'm gonna need a new one soon because it's definitely getting to the end of its life I'm just going to go back in with some Poet which is the red shade I have my number seven eyeliner. Um, I'm gonna go in the waterline. Try and I'm gonna take my eyeliner, and I know it sounds gross, but I'd rather do my eye first than my mouth because I'm gonna use it as a lip liner. I have a liquid lip, it's a revolution one and I've never used it, it's Salvation Velvet Lacquer in black part. So, I'm going to give this a go, I've never ever used it. Okay, so that is kind of cool, but I want to add something else to it. So I have these from iHeart Revolution, and they are sort of um, metallic-y, but they have a bit of glitter to them. And I kind of want to wear one on top, but I don't know what shade to go for. Maybe that one. So this is the shade Cosmo. Then let it dry for a minute. It's meant to give you some sort of shimmer. I don't think it has, or maybe a tiny bit, but I do kind of like the look I have achieved. So I now need to sort out this. So I will be right back. Okay, so this is 
my finished look my wig is not the best i got it from my local supermarket yeah it's it'll do to please the kids so yeah this is my finished look sorry if it's not like the most chatty video when i'm concentrating i find it really really hard to chat at the same time but are you even filming yes you are um but yeah i hope you enjoy this look i hope you think it looks cool Sorry, my husband was just shouting up like, oh, should we have dinner before we go trick-or-treating? So, um, yeah, so I'm really pleased with how my looks come out. I hope you guys like it. The weather is horrendous outside. We just had our first load of trick-or-treaters, so it's exciting. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.